This is Limerick lace <coughs> and it's a net embroidery. There are two types, Limerick run and Limerick timbre, and they both start off the same. First of all, you pin a pattern like this onto the back of your design. Then you go around the outline, just running the thread in and out through the net. Next step is to fill in with your net embroidery stitches. And that's what we're doing here in this section. This is a simple flat run stitch here. You're just going back and forth, in and out through the net. When you've filled in with all of those different net embroidery stitches, you've got what's called Limerick Run Lace. And that is something a bit like this. Of course, then you can take it a step further and do your timbre lace. And that's where you get your timbre hook. And you go around the outline of your design with a chain stitch. Now, traditionally, you would have used this timbre hook for filling as well. But here, we're just going to use it on the outline. Catching it from below, coming back up through. And that's your chain stitch all around the outline there. An example of Limerick Tambour Lace where the filling is done in the chain stitch is here in this case. The veil in the centre was used for reception into the order by the poor Clare nuns, and we keep it here to this day. Would you like to tell us about bobbin lace? Okay. You get two bobbins and you get some thread and you wind one end of the thread around one bobbin and the other end around the other bobbin and then you hang them from the pins on the top. And there are three stitches that we use and they are the half stitch and the whole stitch and the whole stitch twist. And you count up, you get two pairs of bobbins and you count them out. One, two, three, four. And you do the stitches. Two over three, four and two back. That's the half stitch. And the whole stitch is two over three, four and two back, two over three. And the whole stitch twist is two over three, four and two back, two over three, four and two back. 